Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to uh, take scientific notation and write it as a regular number. So the first thing we want to do before we do that is really understand what exactly is scientific notation. Well, the general form for scientific notation is a times 10 to the n, where a is going to be a number that's going to be between 1 and 10, and n is going to be any integer, which can be positive or negative. So let's understand how our a times n is going to affect us in a number, because we use scientific notation to help us write really, really large numbers and really, really small numbers. So let's just take the number 1. All right, And 1, we can write, has a decimal point at 1.0. Now, if I was to multiply 1 times 1 1.0 times 10 to the first power, we know that answer would give us 10. Or what we'd also like to do is notice that really all I'm doing to 1.0 is just taking the, the 1.0 and just moving it one decimal point to the right. Now, if I was going to take, um, which is actually, yeah, or let's say I take 1.0 times 10 to the second power. Well, that's the same thing as multiplying 1.0 times 10 to the 100, where if I'm going to multiply 1 times 100, I know I'm going to get 100, right? So theoretically, what I, all I really did when multiplying it times 10 to the positive exponent, I'm just moving the exponent over two units to the right. So if the exponent is positive, I'm going to move it that many units to the right. Now let's take a look at the exponent is negative. So if I have 1.0, times 10 to the negative first power. Well, that's the same thing as taking 1.0 and multiplying it by 1 over 10, which would be like dividing by 10. And therefore, that's going to give me an answer of 0 0.10. And so what that is like is like taking this exponent and moving it to the left. And very similar, if I was going to take 1.0 times 10 to the negative second power, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm now going to divide it by 1 oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to multiply by 1 over 100, or the same thing as just dividing by 100, which is going to move my decimal point not over one spot, but now over two spots. So therefore, my answer now is going to be 0 0.01. So we use this understanding to help us understand where am I going to move the uh, decimal point. Well, since I have this to a positive, I know I'm going to be moving to the right. And since it's at three units, I'm going to not move it over one, not move it over twice, but I'm going to move it over three spots. So I have 9.67. If I move it over three spots, I have an empty spot here. Well, I'm going to fill in that empty spot with a zero. So therefore, my final answer of 9.67 times 10 to the third is going to give me 9,670. And that's how you convert scientific notation to a regular number. Thanks.